In this lecture, we are going to learn about another array operator called element match. So let's understand when this operator can be useful to filter documents based on an array field. Basically, the element match operator is used to match documents that contains an array field with at least one element that matches a specific query. Let's understand this with an example. And again, to understand the element match operator, we are going to make use of employee documents in the employee collection. So here you can see all the employee documents which we have inserted in the employees collection. And for each employee document, we have this skills array, which is storing an array of embedded documents. And each embedded document in the skills array has name and level. So let's say I want to filter all the employees from the employees collection whose skills include designer and the level of this skill is two, or let's say greater than two. For that, I can say db dot employees dot find to this we are going to pass a filter object and here we want to filter based on this skills array and we want to check two conditions we want to check the skill name is designer and the level is two or greater than two so for whichever document both the conditions will satisfy we want to return that document so since we want to check multiple conditions and both conditions should return true here we are going to use end operator to this we are going to assign an array in that array first we are going to check kill dot name it is designer and here i am using double quotes for this property name because here we are using a dot notation so this is the first condition the skill name should be designer and then the second condition is skill level it should be greater than two so here we are going to use another set of objects in there we are going to use dollar gte operator we want to check greater than equal to and it should be two so if i go ahead and if i press enter again we have some syntax error here so here it should be dollar gte and then two we had extra closing braces there let's press enter all right we also need to close it one more time so let's close it here and now let's press enter okay let me do one thing let me write this command in this js file so that we'll understand what is the problem so here we are using the find method to that find method i am using this end operator there we are passing an array in that first we are checking skill dot name okay it should be skills dot name it should be designer and then the second condition is skills dot level it should be greater than two okay so now it looks fine i think there was a problem with the name which i was using let me copy this let me paste it here and if i press enter it has returned us two documents if i go here you will see that we have two documents where skill is designer and level is greater than two so here also level is three which is greater than two and here also the name is designer and level is two which is equal to two so in this case it is okay now let me go ahead and let me run this command one more time but this time i'm going to change it to three so i want to filter all the documents where the skill is designer and the level of the skill is greater than or equal to three. If I go ahead and if I press enter, it is still returning us two documents. So in the first document, you will see that the skill name is designer and level is three. So it is greater than equal to three. So this document is okay. But in the second document, you will see that the name is designer, but the level is two, but still it is filtered here. Now, why is that? that's because here when we are filtering it like this mongodb is going to check for all the documents where the skill name is designer so for these two documents we have a skill called designer so that has been filtered and we are using this and operator so it is also going to check if skill dot level is greater than three so in this skills array we have two documents 
for the first document the level is 6 which is greater than 3 that's why it is filtered here and for the second document also level is 3 which is equal to 3 and in the second document for the skill survey we have the first document where the level is 5 and here this level for this document is greater than 3 and that's why this employee document is also filtered here even though for the second document for this designer skill the level is 2 but this document here it has satisfied this second condition where the skill level should be greater than 3 so since this document has satisfied this second condition this document is also filtered i hope you are getting my point our requirement was that we want to filter all the employees whose skill includes designer and the level of that skill is greater than or equal to 3. That was our requirement. But here, those employees are also filtered where the skill is designer, but level is not greater than or equal to 3. And this has happened because one of the document in the skills array has level which is greater than 3. And that's why this document is also filtered. Now, to resolve this issue, we can use element match operator. So, what we can do is let me clear the shelf first and let's get back the employees collection. And on that, let's use find method. To this find method, we are going to pass a filter object. To this filter object, first we are going to specify based on which field we want to filter the document. We want to filter the document using the skills field. To this, we are going to assign another object where we are going to use dollar lm match operator. Okay. And to this, we will assign another object and there we will specify the condition. So here we want to use two conditions. The first condition is the skill name. So now I can simply use the field name because here we have specified the field name as skills. So this skills is an array so now this element match it is going to be applied on the elements of that skills array and the elements of this skills array are embedded documents so now we don't need to access this name property on the skills field we can simply use it like this because here element match will know that this name field is basically the property of the embedded document of skills array so here we want to filter all those documents where the skill name is designer and then let's specify the second condition where the level is greater than or equal to 3 so for that i'm going to use dollar gte and here i'm going to set the value of this operator to 3. so i want to filter all the documents from this employees collection where the skill name is designer and the level for that skill is greater than or equal to 3. And now if I go ahead and press enter, it should return us only one document. So here you can see the name is designer and the level for this skill is 3. So now it is returning us the document properly. Okay. If I go ahead and if I search for tester and let's say the level should be greater than or equal to Let's keep it as three and if i press enter all right so for four documents total we have five documents here so out of that the four documents has the skill name as tester so here we have tester here also we have tester level is six which is greater than three here for the second document also we have skill as tester where the level is five again it is greater than three and for the third and fourth document also we have the skill tester where the level is 8 which is greater than 3 okay so i hope with these examples now you know what is the use of lm match operator so the lm match operator is used to match documents that contains an array field with at least one element that matches a specific query i hope lm match operator is clear to you this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.